Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're continuing to create modular sprite sheets as used in Battle Royale Tycoon. We're going to further increase the randomization of our characters by adding hair color. Let's begin. Okay, so here's our dynamically created sprite sheet. It is composed of a base sprite sheet, then added on top of that we have a body, then on top of that we have our head, which itself is composed of a base head, plus some hair and some beard. With just these options, we already have a lot of variation, but now we're going to go one step further and make our hair color also randomizable. The game is out now on Steam, so check it out to see what I'm teaching here applied to a real game. So here are all the sprite sheets. First there's the base with just the hand and the foot. Then we've got a beard, which is one we're currently using, which is already tinted in brown. Same thing for our hair, and then we have the base head sprite sheet. So now what we're going to do, instead of using the hair that is already tinted, we're going to use a white texture, which is what we're going to use to tint with a certain color. We're going to use a multiplication filter, so the white parts will be the exact color of our tint, and the gray parts will be interpolated somewhere in between. So let's go to the code, and let's go to where we're creating our texture in here. So first we grab the base pixels, and we set them on our texture, okay. Then we are grabbing the head pixels based on our base head, which is the same thing we want to do right now. Then on top of that, we're grabbing the hair pixels, and then we merge the color array of the hair pixels on top of the head pixels. So before we do this merge, we want to tint the hair pixels that we grab from the texture. So let's go down here to make a function. We need to make a private void tint color array. We're going to receive a color array for our base array and a color for the tint. So we're going to cycle through every pixel. So do a four. And then we apply the tint to each pixel. So we set the base array of index i dot red to be the red color multiplied by the tint dot red. Then do the same thing for all the others. So we have our function which multiplies the tint towards whatever is on the base array. So we can now go all the way up here and before we merge our color arrays, let's tint the color array. We want to tint the hair pixels. And let's define a hair color to tint it with. So in here, define a color for the hair color. And here I'm going to go into the utils class in order to use the get string from color. This function is part of the CodeMonkey utilities that you can grab for free from unitycodemonkey.com. And this is very helpful because it lets me calculate a color using a hex string. All right, so I have here a hexadecimal code for our color. We take that hair color and we apply that tint into our hair pixels, which will now be simply white. So after we have tinted, then we merge it into the head pixels and do the same thing as previously. And for now, let's disable the beard. So in here, set it to false. In here, set the hair always to true. Okay. So we should now be able to test our code and see the color of our hair. And yep, there's the sprite sheet using blonde hair. As you can see, the pixels are correctly multiplied, the white part is exactly blonde, and the darker areas of the hair have a darker blonde color. Okay, so now that we have this on our hair, we can simply apply it to our beard. Now we could have a different color for the hair and for the beard, but normally the colors are the same, so let's define our hair color out here. Okay, so here I have an array of a bunch of hair colors. I'm picking a random one from the array. Then I tint the hair pixels with the hair color. And down here, I need to do the same thing for the beard pixels. Tint the beard pixels with the same hair color. And everything else is exactly the same. I'm still only having hair on 70% of the time. Same thing for the beard and still randomizing between 0 and 4 in order to get all of the indexes. So let's see. And yep, there's a sprite sheet being created with many different hair colors that are applied both to the hair and also to the beard. The tint that we've made works with any color, so if it fits with your game, you can feel free to tint it in any color you like, like pink or blue. The game is out now on Steam, so check it out to see what I'm teaching here apply to a real game. So there you have it, we created our previous sprite sheet and added more randomization with different hair colors. In the next video, we're going to tint the base face in order to get different skin colors. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.